everyone and welcome to another art video. If you're new here, I'm Karen and I like to make art using a variety of mediums. So today we're going to be working with acrylic gouache. So actually before we jump right into the painting, this is a quick time lapse that I did on Procreate using my iPad. And this is what I like to do to just kind of quickly sketch out the drawing and figure out the colors I want to use. All right, now I got my sketch printed out and I'm gonna use my light box with my favorite Castell colored pencil to trace it onto this five by seven piece of watercolor paper. Cool, now we're ready to begin painting. So I have my two cups of water here and I have my spray bottle that also has water and I have a variety of brushes here but I'm mainly just using round brushes today. So in case you don't know, this is a fan art drawing of Doru which is a character in the Fruits Basket anime. I haven't seen that many animes before aside from like Studio Ghibli movies like Spirited Away or Kiki's Delivery Service but I haven't seen that many TV series anime before so i found this one on hulu and i decided to give it a shot and let me tell you i do not regret it i actually binged all three seasons in like a week the the show only has three seasons long but season one i think had like 20 something episodes or something like that um but yeah they're short like easy to digest episodes so you can get through them pretty quickly Right off the bat, I was, and actually still am, obsessed with the opening song of season one to the point where I wanted to find the song on YouTube so that I can find the lyrics and sing along to it. I'm actually going to put a little piece in here so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'll link to this video in the description if you also want to sing along to this song. yeah so it's a great song um it's a good show it's funny there's romance there's drama it's exciting um highly recommend so check that out if you also want to enjoy a great show so just to talk a little bit about the painting process for today i'm using holbein acrylic gouache paint which is different than regular watercolor gouache in that it's less of a watercolor and more of an acrylic. So it dries super fast and once it's dry, you can layer the paint on top without disturbing the bottom layers. And I'm actually relatively new to painting with gouache, but so far I've really enjoyed it. The only part I don't enjoy too much is how quickly the paint dries on the palette. So I have to be very careful of only putting like the smallest dab of paint down so I don't waste too much of it because once it's dry, it's hard to use, you know. So every now and then it's also good to spray the paint with some water so that it can, you know, stay moist. moist. But one thing I really do like about this gouache is that you can layer light colors on top of dark colors. And it's also very forgiving to work with. So if you make any mistakes, it can be very easy to fix it by just, you know, adding paint right on top of it and just fixing your mistakes that way. And so I decided to paint this little fan art today because like I said, I really did enjoy the show and I wanted something that brought me joy when I looked at it. So I'm going to hang this by my desk so that, you know, I can look at it from time to time. Um, and I think it's good to paint pieces that are just for you, you know, like a little guilty pleasure piece. Like I didn't go into it with the intention of it being like a sticker or a print or a product, you know, for sale. It's just like something for me, something fun, something to practice painting with gouache and just something that I know will bring me joy when I look at it.
And to finish off the painting, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my colored pencils just to add some finishing touches like right on top. Um, I really wanted to capture that those like cheeks that blush like they do on the show where they add those little red lines to look like they're blushing. Um, I don't think I quite got it, but that's what I was trying to do. And I'm just going to go around different areas, um, mainly like highlight areas that I just want to add uh, some color pencil to that. Just because I like the texture that the color pencil leaves on this watercolor paper. I also want to darken up some lines, especially in the hair. She has such great hair. Also with my micron liner, this is not a micron, Copic liner, I'm gonna go ahead and add in like some hair strands as well. And that's it. It was a simple and cute drawing. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you enjoyed the process of me painting this. And if you'd like to see more art videos, please stay tuned and subscribe if you'd like or give this video a like. And I will see you next time.